Okay, and we're back. Now it's time for round four versus the dog. Hopefully I'll kill it this time. Okay. Now. Just looking around a bit for a second. Getting my bearings again. And another bullet's wasted. I'm down to one now. I really need to pay attention to how much bullets I have. Practicing a bit with the um, awesome... What is that thing? The chain. The chain um, whip cane, which is kind of awesome. Okay, there you go. I sneak around. This time, I'm trying to go for more stealth. So I go against this way. You can see here. I'm ignoring the fact that I could possibly bottle my, bottleneck myself in here. Can't okay, we see the dog? Oh, I figured to lock on right now. That's the moment I figured it out. It was awesome. Okay, here we go. We start fighting. Here, I'm in my little spot here, and I start dodging. Come on, I whip it again a few times. Oh, it's so low now. Just go back and forth dodging. I have finally figured out that dodge. Dodging is your friend in this thing. I kill it! I finally kill it! Oh, I was so happy. It just took me four tries. There we go. I've got blood vials now. Okay. I'm trying to see if I can equip the blood vials there because I don't seem to notice that they're right above my empty bullet slot. There we go. Looking through it in my menu to find it. Find the notebook. I equip the notebook for some reason. Okay, there we go. Figuring out the notebook doesn't really do anything at this point. There we go. Get my menu again. Realize that that's still up there. Notebook does nothing there. Click the wrong button. Okay. So now I'm just fiddling around still. There we go. I finally de equipped the notebook. Now I'm just messing around with the quick items. I haven't realized at this point that I don't really have any quick items to use. So this isn't really doing me any good. Okay. So, there we go. Now I'm looking at what I'm wearing. Go back to my inventory. I'm still trying to find the blood vials here, which is kind of silly. Now I'm looking at my clothes. Okay, there we go. Finish messing around with that for now. Now I'm looking around to see if I can find any more glowing books or any items on the ground that I can pick up. Check the dock to see if it gives me any help. Watch it ragdoll around a bit. Still messing with my quick items. Okay. There we go. I don't know why I attacked the dog again there a few times. I think maybe that was one of those. I'm hitting the wrong buttons again. There we go. Transform my cane again because it does me so much more good when I have it this way. Okay. And now I'm time to head out and see the rest of this world. These little guys in the floor keep surprising me. Go. And now it's telling me how to actually use the blood vials and I'm realizing it's there. This is also around the moment that I figure out that I have no weapon. Okay, I skipped through over here because that was a boring spot where I just wandered around. Okay, I'm trying to see if going in there would be a good idea. If I can find any enemies. Because I can hear an enemy now. That's when I realized that the gate's closed. Okay. So, I'm heading out. Opening the gate. Come on, hit the right button this time. You can do it. Aha, I got it. Now, this made me very paranoid for the next part because like, it's so loud. Like everything's gonna come over here. Go, I'm in Central Yarma now. I checked that out because I thought for a second it might be one of those glowing things, but it's not. There, I noticed the torch wielding guy over there. Now, this hat looked weird. I thought maybe I could pick it up and I could have a top hat. Now, I wanted to see if I could squeeze through here. I'm also trying to figure out if I can jump. There, I realized that I can't break anything over there. Get past. Now, I'm going to see if I can get past here. 
Okay, I destroy this stuff. Realize again I can't jump. So there's nothing good for me over there. See if it can break the coffins, but they don't break. And that's where I'm kind of realizing that there's nothing for me over there. And now I'm checking out the dead horse. I wanted to see if it would ragdoll. Now that's where the loud footsteps kind of freak me out for a second. I'm getting better use of the camera now to help me scope out and see if I can see things. Especially around the corners here. I'm checking out what that was. Okay, I got more blood vials. Those are good. My health's pretty good right now, mostly because I haven't fought anything else yet. Now, I thought something would be hiding back here. To jump out and kill me? There we go. Now I'm watching the guy up there. I wanted to see if there's anything down there. But there isn't so far. I'm checking out over here. I'm expecting the coffin to burst open and to try to kill me. Because it's not locked, but it didn't. Ugh, there's so many footstep sounds. Everything sounds so close. Okay, I figured out finally that that was a dead end and I'm not going to get anything else. I'm kind of just watching where he is. Because I'm not sure if he would turn the corner and come down towards me or not. Okay. Now I'm checking out to see if anything was hiding behind the carriage. Okay, now, okay, that's me wasting some ammo because I'm hitting the ground. There, I'm finally locked on him. And start dodging. There we go. I wasn't sure if he was dead at that moment. Then I realized he must have been. There we go. I killed my first wandering dude. I was checking to see if he would give me anything. There we go. I heal myself up a bit. I'm trying to find where that sound is coming from. I check out the gate here. I decide not to open it because I don't want to have to fight on two fronts if something comes out of the gate. I am expecting the coffins to always burst open. For some reason, I feel like I'm Link in this game, and I destroy all the boxes I can, even though there's nothing in them. Okay, there we go. I find the device. Ignore the device. Go for the dude. Now, those guys don't have anything over them, so I was thinking, are they going to start going to going to pop up and attack me? So I go really slow. He's like, are they playing dead? I think they're playing dead. There we go. I got rid of that thing that was popped up. Okay, there we go. And I tried to hit him fast. There go. I love the threaded cane. It is awesome. There, I miss. Still not locked on him. I haven't realized I'm not locked on for a moment. There we go. There we go. I killed two more. I'm surprised I didn't die at that moment. Well, actually, they didn't hit me, but I was surprised that, well, I hit them. There we go. Lots of more. And I got some cocktails. This will be good. Okay, the gong freaked me out because I thought that would be like, okay, the gong rung, now something's gonna pop out and try to kill me. For some reason, I was fascinated with the spigot here. I wanted to see if I can move it or something. There we go. Now I activate the device. Oh, come on, activate the device. You know you want to. Oh, it's the rumbling thing was freaking me out. Okay. I'm going to activate the device here, and down comes the ladder. Well, that's it for this part. I'll see you at the next part where I climb the ladder.